welcome everyone today we're going to be talking about five secret tips you didn't know you could do in hyperscape some of you guys might know a few of these tips but some of you might not even know any of these tips existed and of course we're going to get some people in the comment section who think they're smart saying <laughs> I knew all of these tips. We're going to get them. And all I'm going to say is, if you knew all of these tips, good for you. Now people are going to comment, I knew all of these tips just because I mentioned it. I know it's going to happen. If you do go ahead and enjoy today's video, be sure to scroll down, click the like button. Let's try and aim for 500 likes on today's video. And if you're currently not subscribed, I recommend you do that down below so you don't miss out on any future Hyperscape or Apex Legends videos on the channel but now that out of the way let's jump into the first secret tip you didn't know in hyperscape so the first tip we're going to be speaking about is the slam slide technique that is used when using your slam hack now in the closed beta and open beta slam was the most popular ability out of all of the other abilities in the game and my guess is that it's still the most popular hack to be using and for all of you slam people out there you're going to want to know this tip so after you've slammed, you're left very vulnerable, unable to move and stuck in that crouched position for about half a second until you can then move and gain your momentum. But there is a way to completely counter that and that is sliding whilst you're going into the slam. And it's a very OP way to counter being left completely frozen, giving enemies a few free shots before you're able to move again. Now the way to do this is really simple. Just as you're about to cause impact with the floor, you want to press the slide button and it will put you into a slide instead of just freezing you onto the floor being unable to move and the reason why this is op is because not only are you going to be dealing damage into the enemy from the slam you're also going to be sliding creating such a hard target for the enemy to even locate where you are let alone land shots into you and by the time your slide is finished you'll be able to get straight back into the action and the whole point of this tip is to counter that time after you've slammed where you're just stuck being left completely vulnerable and uh, for all of you slam people out there be sure to practice this in training before going into a game it's very easy and it's probably one of the most effective tips you'll hear in this video i'm not sure if they're going to patch it anytime soon i don't think it's a bug i think it's intentional i think the devs have added it intentionally but it is very overpowered just because you deal damage into the enemy you're going into an immediate slide and the whole reason why hack is meant to be balanced is because you're meant to freeze and stay still once you've slammed. But this completely counters it. So this makes slam a little bit OP in my opinion. Let's move on. So the next tip I want to speak about is reveal and invisibility because these two hacks can actually be countered by each other. So if you're someone who loves to use reveal or you love to use invisibility, be sure to listen up to this tip. So if someone pops invisibility and you're using reveal, you can actually use reveal and still see them whilst they're invisible which completely counters invisibility but vice versa if you're using reveal at no if you're using invisibility and the enemy's using reveal if they pop their reveal first and reveal you once you activate your invisibility then you will counter the reveal whichever hack is activated last is going to get the last word and is going to get the counter and this is not something many people know about it's a very important tip if you love to use the invisibility hack or you love to use the reveal hack very often and it's something that's good to know so the next secret tip i want to talk about which is completely game changing if you don't know it already and that is that you can start firing your weapon before it's completely reloaded yes i'm not lying you can fire your weapon before the reload animation is finished on some weapons and this is actually quite broken so before i talk about how to do this the weapons that are compatible to do this for are the harpy ripper dragonfly mammoth and the riot one so towards the end of your reload animation you can fire the weapon to completely cancel the reload but for the weapons i've just named just as the character is about to put the magazine into the gun the gun is already reloaded so you don't have to wait for the character to actually load the magazine into the gun you can cancel the whole animation by pressing fire you can get straight back into the action now as with the slam slide technique i recommend you go into training pick up your favorite weapons and practice the timing on the this reload cancel because you don't want to go into a game and then not having reloaded your weapon and possibly even go down because of that so be sure to get the timing right and then when you go into a game you'll have such an advantage and you would have felt stupid waiting to reload all of them times in the past the difference between waiting for the weapon to fully reload and do its animation to cancelling the reload by firing is almost split in half by some weapons so we're talking about half of the time with some weapons which is a huge advantage so you definitely need to get used to this unlike the slam slide technique in my first tip i think this could be a bug that they might be working on i don't think this is intentional but they could keep it in the game it might become one of those things where although it's a bug it does take timing and 
Some people would argue that that takes skill. There have been bugs in previous games where the developers have just kept it in the game because it's a rewarding bug to have and it requires skill and something to get used to. So who knows, they might keep this reload bug in the game, but uh, if they don't, I'll be sure to leave a pinned comment down below in the comment section, letting you know to completely ignore this tip and move on to the next one. So the next tip I want to speak about is to do with the Skybreaker. Now, this is a very small tip, but it might come in effective sometime during your game of Hyperscape. And that is the fact that the Skybreaker has a slightly larger radius when aiming in compared to when hip firing. So always be sure to aim in when using the Skybreaker. It's a very small margin, but it might be a margin that helps you get the win. I've also noticed this with the Skybreaker in some areas around the body. It actually does more damage than landing on the body itself, which is very strange. It's not something I've known for any weapon to do, but don't focus too much on trying to land the blast on the enemy, but rather anywhere around where the enemy's located. Then you can aim much faster. And the best thing about the Skybreaker is that you don't have to have insane aim to deal a chunk of damage into enemies. I really love the Skybreaker. It's one of my go-to weapons because it's a very good weapon to just take that chunk of damage out of enemies and then put out your second weapon to finish the enemies off. And the next tip I want to talk about, which is something you guys should be focusing on towards the mid to late stages of the game and that is the restore points if you see this yellow barrier on top of the restore point then that means an echo or an eliminated player is on that restore point waiting for the enemy to restore them so you can just sit around this restore point wait for the enemies to arrive and then you can catch them off guard now i do want to mention a few more tips that some of you beginners might not be aware of i'm sure some advanced players will know this and this was meant to be five secret tips but hey let's just continue on the video <laughs> using up your weapon or fusing up your hack will automatically reload the weapon or it will automatically enable the hack to use and it will eliminate the cooldown time on the hack. Now, even if you've got your weapon or hack fully fused, you want to memorize where these weapons are located, specifically if you're staying in one area. And for example, if you're using armor and you come across another armor and you're staying in that area, the next time you activate the armor, you can go to the location where the other armor is is placed on the floor and then you can pick that armor up and then you can reactivate it again almost giving you double the time of use of course this can be quite situational but i've just sort of throw that out there if any beginners are watching this video so i'm gonna end the video here i wanted to bring you guys this secret tips you didn't know video hopefully some of these tips you didn't know and this video has helped you out i will be doing a part two to this video as i've got so many more tips to talk about but i can't fit it all in one video so uh, i'm gonna wrap this video up here and i will be releasing a part two very soon if you guys did enjoy today's video as always be sure to scroll down click the like button be sure you're subscribing all of that good stuff i'm gonna wrap this video up here thank you all for watching enjoy the rest of your day and i'll catch all of you guys out in another brand new video